from the campgrounds up at Red Feathers back into the heart of the city of Denver. Me and my sidekick, the Blazer, we still on a fly fishing mission. What's up, guys? It's Rocco Taco the Rockstar. In this video, I hope you guys can pick up a couple tips on how to cast a fly rod and enjoy watching us catch some fish on the South Platte River here in the heart of the city of Denver, Colorado, guys. Now, before we get to the video, I do want to give a quick shout out and a thank you to Mr. Vincent and my little brother-in-law Gordo because before the live channel was ever thought of, it was us, the three musketeers, doing adventures just like this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Until next time, stay fit, stay fishing. Deuces! Urban fly fishing today, y'all. I've been hitting up this little uh, little stretch of the Platte River, mainly down there. Been kind of figuring it out a little bit today. My goal is to teach y'all some fly fishing basics on casting, and hopefully get some decent ones to the net. My boy Blazer, your boy Rocco Taco, Laugh Champ fans, get ready for a good day on the river, y'all. Alright guys, I'm running a TFO, four piece, five weight, nine foot rod today. I think I got my Akuma reel set up on it. If you guys take a look, this is what you call your fly line right here, this green one. My backing is orange, that's my signature, I like the way it looks. Alright, you got your leader. Right here with the loop to loop connection, come on. Right here, your fly line connected to your leader here and your leader is connected to tip it which is what we're about to show you how to tie up but and I gotta tie up my tip it anyway but your tip it is what you tie your fly on to guys so here's the fly I'll probably start off with this one again today that's one thing that I am not good with that's one thing that I will start working on for you guys is bug identification but again your leader it's going to taper down there's the knot right there leader ends here tip it starts and then there's my fly again it's a sharp leader i was using the shit out of it yesterday so i gotta th lengthen it up i'm probably not going to right now i'll do it in a little while that boy blazer why don't you come explain to these live champ fans what you got here going on let's go have a look see at what he's doing what you doing? What you got? I am gonna be using my new reel today. What reel is it? It's Lost Creek. Five okay. six weight. Bi. Cool, cool. What's your rod? What's your little rod? Let's see what this rod is. It's nine weight, five six weight. Nine foot, five six weight. Cedar can. That's what he's using today, guys. So, nothing fancy, but like they say, it's not the rod; it's the dude holding it. <laughs> hey, what's uh? How you liking that that fly rod so far, man? Digging it. Digging I've been it. Using it every day for probably a month and a half now. Me that... and Rocky, every almost every day, man. As he says, guys, for about a month now. A month ago, I took this guy up to uh, my boy Todd. 
his fly ranch here. If you guys have been following me from my old channel, you guys see me stock that ranch before. You guys see me fish that ranch. I've had many of great memories with many of great people up at that ranch, all right? I took this guy there about a month ago for his birthday. He didn't dig on fly fishing. Sorry about the train, y'all, but it is what it is. We in the city. We ain't in the mountains. But I took him up there fly fishing, guys. We was digging the ponds. He wasn't feeling them too much, but we was catching fish. We went to the river, guys. He landed probably one of the biggest fish I've ever seen come out of that river. Go underneath this? I don't know. That's what I'm always fucking confused about. Huh? What does yours do? I think it comes from underneath. Set it up and see how it fucking... You know what I'm saying? Where were we? Oh, yeah. He ate a fly fish and he caught that monster. The big fucking fish out that river, guys. And ever since, he's been on it. He's been teaching me some stuff. I've been teaching him some stuff. And today, we're going to try to teach y'all some stuff that we've combined together, been able to learn and better our knowledge and better our, what would you call it, better our, uh, better our craft, I guess. Get whatever you want to call it. We're getting better and shit. And uh, we just want to share some of that knowledge with you. So first off, hey, put that down. Let me show you guys something. Hey, no, 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 no. You're already fucking up. You're looking like a rookie. So when you guys set this up, guys, pull this out, bro. Pull your fucking, pull your line out and double it up here. And that's how you usually motherfuckers do it. So instead of that, catch this and run this through. There you go. That's what I want to see. Let's look like you know what we're doing just a little bit. Not easier, but when you drop it, if you were to drop that one, it's gonna fall all the way back down your eyelids, bro. It's just the way I was taught. I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> That's the way I like to line my shit, guys. Loop it. If you drop your fucking fly line right now, it's just gonna lay in your eyelid and not fall all the way back down through. <clears throat> guys so here we go again he has the backing on the wheel down there we got our fly line right here the screen one that's what that's called there's your loop to loop connection to your leader what i'm gonna do is see how that's kinked up same thing guys run through your finger warm it up try to get the memory out of it And your leader's gonna taper down, guys. This one, what was a nine pound 3X or a 4X, I think? Nine pound 4X. So there's that one, and it's tied a knot. There's the end of your leader, okay? Can't tell if we got a knot in there already, but we're gonna, what do you want, 4X? Yeah. This is your tippet guys, right here. They come in different sizes. One being your thickest, seven being your thinnest. They come in different pounds, guys, all right? Hold that. And I'm gonna let you tie the knot. So we're gonna pull out some 4X. I'm gonna give him quite a bit so that he has enough to change flies and stuff too. All right. So I want your tippet, your loose tippet, in your right hand. There you go. Overlap them. Give me a little bit more, a little bit more on that side. Yep, there you go, okay. Now you're gonna come tip it again in your right hand and go right over left with the loop. No, 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 grab them both. Make a loop, bringing this one forward. No, 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 the other way. No, 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 you went right hand behind. You wanna go right hand in front. There you go, you see that? Now bring these two behind and through twice. Both of them at the same time. You want both of these through. When you 
you're first starting, you're probably going to need to leave, leave yourself a bigger loop. You can just take this out of the video, Rocky. Why, hey, bro? You're learning, bro. It's a learning fucking process, bro. It's all good. I had to fucking start this way, too, dude. This, it was a bitch. You just let me know if you're too frustrated. You want me to hop in and show you. But I think you can get it. There you go. Just once. Now one more. As always, yep, lubricate as always. Pull on all your ends. Now pull on your other two ends now. There you go. Same with tags. No, we cut the tongue at the knot. Motherfucker, it took me long enough to get that. Shit, got some more tippet, but there you go, bro. How do you feel about it? We're confident? Not confident? I can do it again. You do it again? Throw on here. Tell me what kind of fly you want to tie on. I don't know yet. Alright. Probably a top water for now. So for a top water? What do you think? We want a nymph. Let's go try them top waters over there. Again guys, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna give him. I think this one is uh what do you guys call? You gonna throw on one of yours or you wanna throw on one of mine? Let's let's think about this one. Too big? Try it. It might be. Late, the, yesterday it seemed the smaller the better. Give Try me, that one. Give me a small one. I did snag this too from you. So I'm going to throw them off. Just a regular fisher, or you regularly not always use the same knot on everything. So, I like to go back through the loop I made. Rocky doesn't like doing that. It's up to you. He likes the double uni. I like the single uni. Whatever you're more confident in. Can't do anything right now. <laughs> you're all nervous on camera, huh, bro? <laughs> I'm just not used to using such a small line, bro. That too. Again, guys, he's only been at it about a month, and I'm actually really, really proud at the progress that he's fucking put. Well, the work that he's put in and the progress that he's made at it, guys, because a month ago, he literally hated it. I mean, when I took him up to the ranch within 20 minutes, he was frustrated. I had to come talking to him, you know, hey, hold on, what's going on? He's getting tangled, too many flies. So if you're first starting out, I recommend you probably learn with one fly on your line. That's usually what he does. That's usually what I do, because if you're in the wind or you're very, uh, very starting, uh, you're barely beginning is what's going to happen is you're going to get up tangled you're going to get really good at knots if uh, that's the route you want to choose but at the same time it does get frustrating when you're out there in the wind and constantly getting tangled out there to try to fish before we go out there guys i want to show you a couple things guys in casting all right there's two things you guys want to remember and there's two ways you can uh 
you can practice shit. You want me to show them or you want to show them? All right, so. Casting, guys, one of the things, a lot of people think it's this, guys, and that's not what it is, okay? There's two things that I want you to remember. First thing is wrist action, okay, guys? Wrist should stay here, guys. This should not be you cast it, guys. You see this here? See the connection here? You see that break? No, that is not good, guys. You want to keep it here throughout the motion. 10 and 2 o'clock is where you want to stay. You're going to use the rod to load the line and get your fly out there, guys. The way you're going to do that is by keeping your wrist straight. A good way to do it, you got a long sleeve, tuck it in there. That's what I did for a whole day, you guys, until I broke it in my there. habit. Okay, tuck it in there. Use a bandana, tie it on there, okay? Number two, this is one that he actually showed me that I was very, very guilty of, and I did it a lot, guys, is the elbow placement. Guys, again, I told you guys, keep it rod in between 10 to two. With your elbow out here, it allows you to go past that 10 o'clock, okay? If you keep your elbow here and here, tight inside the body, again, guys, here, no, not here. No, it allows you to go here. If you keep it here, what happens? Boom, you're almost forced to that 10 o'clock. Elbow here, against your hip, guys. Pull here, okay, here. This should be your motion. Boom, boom. We're using the rod to load, and I'll show you when we get out there what happens when you don't do it. It overextends and stuff like that, and you don't get the proper cast, all right? So, rod, butt here with the forearm, elbow in the hip. There is some exceptions, right? Sometimes there you can is some exceptions. There is some exceptions. I do get out of the habit every now and then when I'm trying to huck and duck big streamers and stuff like that. Or I get out of the habit too sometimes uh, side arming. But even if you're side arm, side casting, guys, your hip or your elbow should still be on the hip, and it's hard to get past that 10 too. All right. So here we go. That's where we're seeing them. Is down there. So I'm gonna try to cast up in this area and float my fly down. Lots of line out, guys. Now I'm gonna try to mend. Mend again. And I want that fly hitting, heading down the river about the same speed as everything else. Your drift is gonna be key, guys. Something just hit right there. See if we can get something to, something to come up. And I'll show you guys here in a minute. Let on the drop for that one, guys.
tip its leader. It's about time. Throw a little lamp on. But I got one to the net, guys. Not to the net, but fight one. It's fighting pretty good. It's not too, too bad. That's what I'm using. There she is. There it goes. It's number one. One for me. See if Ty can get on one. Throw on a little nymph that are hitting on top water. You need to throw a bobber on it. I'm trying to see if I can get another hit like that. Oh shit. I hope it's Carter. Yeah, it's your Carter. What is this, number two for you? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, fucker. Go, my love. Oh, what that little, like a little pheasant tail and a bobber? Pheasant tail and a bobber. Flies out. Or if the GoPro will take a picture. GoPro, take a picture. Take a picture, GoPro. Boy. There he goes. Number two. Hey man, calm down, dude. Woo. Switched up to a little bead head and a bobber. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I'm drawing. All right, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Oh, damn. Look, he flipped up. There he goes. There he goes. He's gone. He's good. He's over there by my fly line. Still chilling right there. So we can get us another one, huh? 